the white knight. Once upon a time, there lived a young princess in a kingdom far away. She was a sad princess. She felt stifled by her job. But loved her kingdom like life itself. One day, the princess found a secret room in an old part of the castle, her home, where she found an old suit of armour and a secret entrance to the castle. It was a great moment in her life. She put the armour outside and rode her horse out the front gate and put on the armour, stowing her clothes inside the secret room and rode her white horse into the countryside, dressed as a knight. While she rode, she met a man being robbed by a bandit. He was a handsome prince. The victim was having trouble. She saved him and took him to her home, where she left him. She rode back to the secret entrance, changed back and rode home via the front gate. She met the prince again. He was with her father, the king. Hello, Isabel, said her father to her. Hello, father. Who is your guest? The princess replied. He is Prince Justin. He came to see you, said her father. He came to see me. Why? Asked Isabel. My father wants me to marry. He got me on tour. Of all the local kingdoms, looking for a princess, said Prince Justin. He stayed a while. They fell deeply in love. Princess and Prince Justin. While he was there, the castle came under attack by a griffin. Who first attacked the town, then the castle. It took the king. The worried princess left the castle on her horse again and changed into the knight and fought the griffin and took back the king killing the beast, taking from it its magic feather. She puts in the helmet and returned the king to the castle, their home, and rode off waving as her horse reared the mysterious white knight. It was the talk of the town. For weeks after, when she, the knight, returned to slay the dragon. With Prince Justin, she fell during the battle. Losing her helmet, Prince Justin saw her face. He kept the secret in his heart forever and slew the dragon, saving her. He returned alone to the castle saying the knight slew it. He married the princess. They lived happily ever after in the castle.